Mm. Um, we went in having him expecting him to pass away, which is what we got told would probably be a result of, the, of um, when he was born. And I came out of the anaesthetic with my husband saying, he's beautiful, he's mm. gorgeous, he's perfectly formed. And mm. they told us that um, six days later we left the hospital saying, make the most of him, he won't last. Luke had his first lot of surgery at four weeks and then we basically were up in hospital for another five weeks while he had two lots of neurosurgery. And I went down to our local GP and she had no idea um, anything about shunts. They don't down here, for, you know, it's still a country town. So she, we were going up to see the neurosurgery surgeon the following week. She said, wait until we go up there. Um, which we did and he took one look at Luke and put him straight into surgery and Luke went in using both hands and his eyes able to focus on both sides and came out with a fist. Fist, his left oh, side yeah, had, yeah. so we knew that he'd, you know, something had happened down the left side. Mm. Um, during the surgery? During the surgery yeah. and it was probably when the catheter was, because that broke off from the shunt side suffering cerebral migraines, screaming for 12 hours at a time. Oh, God. Um, not a very happy little baby. And then after that, we, we had our little... He was, he was a normal baby, if you, whatever you call normal. But mm. he was cried when he cried when he was hungry or wet, and um, that was it. He didn't cr cry because he was in pain. They told us that um, six days later we left the hospital saying, make the most of him, he won't last. Take lots of photos. Okay. We never looked at him, at losing him. We always looked at making the best of whatever situation we had. And that included stimulation from the word go and music. He was surrounded with music. Uh, I'm Luke's dad. Um, I'm pretty proud of the fact that uh, he's made so much uh, progress in his life and uh, his work that he's been doing with uh, John at the uh, radio station and I understand sometimes that it's hard for him, especially when people can't understand and it's made more confusing by people trying to make decisions for him and things that he's got to do and that, but uh, I'm very pleased with the way things have turned out with, oh, with like his radio station and that. And I've been to the station a couple of times to see him and he just loves the fact that he's doing something that he likes doing and music and stuff like that. He, he makes me uh, uh, a CD or two a week for me to listen to at uh, work and gets me to more or less proof him for him before he takes him up there and plays him on the radio. And, Terry, I think he's frustrated at different times and also the fact is there's no one for him to share how he feels. Welcome to another edition of the Kulik and Square John 3 hour time slot on 96.5 FM Hotel Charlie Romeo. It's your town talking, isn't that right John? Yeah, and today we're in Studio One for a change. Well that'd be for me that is. For you, for you, yeah. But we're doing it together for my program, but we're going to go into the ne next door. Because we've got Les here yeah. taking a video of us for a doco we're making. Yeah. You wouldn't be a star, aren't you, Luke? Uh, yeah. We've stayed one house we lived in for nine years, and we had fantastic neighbours from the word go and they were very supportive and they used to think, oh, they used to idolise the boys and they just saw the boys all as the boys. It wasn't anyone in particular was mm. singled out. And the ones we have now, they're, they're just, um, we've been there eight years and they think that um, Luke's gorgeous. What you want for, for the child with a disability is exactly what you want for your other children as well because there needs to be an acceptance of all children on all levels. Sounds like you need education of the educators. 
Definitely. I suppose the problem is though it won't change for a number of years, mainly because the, the people that are educating our children currently have all gone to school where children with special needs and children that are slightly different have gone to a separate school yeah. totally and they've never had any interaction with children with other needs. I've been trying to get some work experience in the library at Newson Moore Senior High School and it's always, well I've only just started about, ne about a month ago and I think it's pretty good fun even though I'm getting a little bit of help. I'm Luke's middle brother. It's hard sometimes. I'm Luke's brother and Declan's. Yep. Um, he's, well, he's pretty hard to cope with like normal ones, but um, he's kind of nice. 